The treatment plan is designed based on the particular needs of the location. It contains a variety of processes to allow the solids in the wastewater to settle out, screened remaining material to be oxidized and reduced, and then finally disinfected before returning to the waterway. Plants operate under a permit which specifies the allowable parameters of the plant effluent. The influent channel is the first channel the wastewater uses when entering the plant. Depending upon design, it can also serve as an aerated grit channel and may also have a bar screen installed. Influent is the flow into the plant, effluent is the output. Pre-treatment of wastewater flows often require the removal of larger debris from the stream. Typically this consists of rags, wood, or just about anything that might find its way into the flow. This is accomplished by use of a bar screen. The size of the screen is determined by the amount of flow. But if not manually cleaned, some device must be available to remove the collected trash from the bars. Large screens often use a moving rake, which collects the debris from the bars and transports it to a conveyor. The conveyor then moves the debris to a collection bin for later removal to a landfill. Grit chambers are used to remove inorganic solids from the influent to the plant after the larger debris has been removed by the bar screens. If aerated, the grit will settle out quickly to the sloped bottom and the wastewater will move on within a few minutes. The diffusers are designed to create a circular movement in the tank. Grit chambers can collect hydrogen sulfide and cause hazardous conditions for operators, especially if the influent is anaerobic or there are heavy industrial wastes. The partial flume is a flow measuring device which is designed so the channel narrows and then widens. This enables a measurement of the quantity of flow through the flume by measuring the depth. Partial flumes are considered to be self-cleaning. A V-notch weir is a flow measuring device consisting of a plate to stop the flow and a V-notch cut into the top of the plate over which the flow must pass. The amount of flow over the notch can be calculated by the depth of the flow stream passing over it.